To create the glitch effect in Vegas Pro, you want to first of all go to Media Generators. In here, you want to go to Solid Color and get yourself a plain black solid color. So if you left click, drag this into the timeline, you can close this down and you also want to right click in the empty area and get yourself two video tracks. This is going to be for the text and the adjustment layer. Once you've got yourself the two layers, you want to go to titles and text right at the bottom and get yourself a default text right above your solid layer. Now in here, you can type in anything that you want. So I'm going to type in glitch and we're going to set it to 80 for the size. And the font that I'm going to be using is called Nexa Bold. So it will be this one right here. Now, if you'd like to use the same font, there'll be a link in the description down below to a download link. Once you've typed in your text, we want to scroll all the way to the bottom and go to outline, scroll further down, and then left click on the color, go on to the G times B and set this one to green. Now, if you want to, you can set it to any other color that you want. This is just so it gives the glitch effect a little bit more spice and you can change it to any color that you want, but green works really well. So you want to get yourself the pick whip and then drag this down further down until it says 54 for the first one. So it will say 54, one, 0 0.32, and then one again. You can left click off of this, and then you want to set the width to 3.042, and you are pretty much done with your text. So we can close this down, and as you can see, we now have this bold outline. Moving on to the next thing is to create ourselves the adjustment layer. And to do this, you want to go to the media generators and get yourself into the test pattern. Now for this one, you want to get yourself the second one, which is the NTSC. And you want to left click and drag this right above your text layer. You can close this down and we can start on the very first effect. So if you go to video effects, in here you want to type in TV and there'll be something called TV simulator. In here, you want to get yourself the one that will say bad sync. And you want to left click and then drag this into your pattern. For the first one, for the detail zoom, you want to set this one to 1.2060. For the aperture grill, set this one to 0. And then for the interlacing, set this one to 0 0.3940. Now for the rest of them, I've left them as default. Now that you've done that, we're going to once again go back into the search and we're going to get ourselves the second effect. For the second effect, you want to get yourself the pixel. So if you type in PIX, there'll be something called pixelate. And for the pixelate, you want to get yourself the large pixelation effect and drag this in right next to the TV simulator. For this one, we're going to set the horizontal to 0 0.977 and then the vertical pixelation to 0 0.871. You can then close this down and we're going to apply this onto the text layer. So to apply this onto the text layer, all you have to do is go over to the compositioning mode, which is right here. Now, if you don't see this available, you can click on the three dots for more and then go to edit visible buttons. And you want to make sure that the compositioning mode is turned on. Once you've got it enabled, you want to left click on here and go to the one that will say custom. So the one that we want to use is called displacement map. You want to go ahead and press OK. And for the vertical, we want to set this one to 0 0.317. You want to leave the rest of the settings on default. And we're going to close this down. Next thing to do is to go to the gear icon, to go to the settings, and go to the stereoscopic 3D mode. You want to left click on here, and you want to set it to the one that will say analytic red slash scion. Once you've got this one enabled, you then want to click apply and then go ahead and press OK. You then want to go back into the video effects and we're going to once again search in the video effects panel and search in for an effect called add and then you'll see something called add noise. And it will be this one right here, which is the add color noise. 
You then want to left click and drag this in between these two effects right here. You can leave these settings on normal and then untick the right side. Next effect is if you go into the search and then type in stereo. For this one, you want to left click and then drag this onto the end of the effect chain. For the horizontal offset, we want to set this one to 0 0.0384. We can then move on to the next effect. So if you go back to the search and get yourself the add noise one more time. And for this one, we're going to add the color noise onto the end of this one right here. And same as last time, you want to untick the right side. You want to set the noise level to 0 0.057. And then finally, the very last effect that you want to get yourself is if you go back into the search, search in news, and you'll see an effect called newsprint. You want to get yourself the color print and then drag this onto the end of your effects. For the dot size, you want to set this one to 0. 0.050 and make sure that the type is on color. Now that you've got yourself all of the effects, you are now ready to close this down. And as you can see, we now have the glitch animation. Now, the next thing to do is, of course, is to have a look at your video and see which areas you want it to be normal. So, for example, if you want this area right here to be normal, you would go to the start of it. You would press S, go a little bit further out, press S again, get yourself the middle one selected, and then press delete. And as you can see, this is now probably back to normal, except from it is change the position and the location of where the text is. So this is a little bit of a bug, but it's really easy to fix because all you have to do is right click on your layer, go to insert slash remove envelope and get yourself the mute. What this will do is it will mute the whole video track. So as you can see, if we drag this down, it will mute it. And if we drag it up, it will put it back to normal. So what we want to do is we want to go to the start of it. We want to right click on here, go to add point. You want to go to the end of it. Once again, right click on the line, add yourself another point and then drag this down. And this will just set it back to default. And as you can see, over here, it glitches, gets to this area, and then back to glitching again. And that is pretty much it. That is the glitch text effect in a Vegas Pro.